Welcome to Midcard Maniacs, my name is Jay, and today we'll be giving you a peek into the life of the invisible man himself, Darby Allen. Yep. Emerging from the goth skate scene in Seattle, Washington, Darby Allen has proven himself to be an iconic wrestling figure and persona who cares very little about his own well-being and safety. Oh no! Watch out! Oh! Darby Allen, a moniker created by combining the names of the infamous Gigi Allen and Darby Crash, was born in Seattle on January 7th, 1993, and is currently still billed from the Emerald City. In school, Allen was in track and field and played football, mimicking a grandfather who played for the NFL. He also took part in collegiate wrestling, primarily because he wrongfully assumed it would be like professional wrestling. Darby attended film school for a short period in Arizona, but dropped out to pursue skateboarding. Many, if not all of his current wrestling promos for AEW were of his own creation and he still has a love for that creative side and he even talked about creating his own film when he was on the Talk It's Jericho podcast. Allen turned semi-pro in skateboarding, appearing on Tony Hawk's YouTube channel and appearing in a slew of videos on ridiculousness before an over-the-top video was blocked from being aired, preventing him from further appearing on the show. While skateboarding, Allen reportedly lived in the slums of Seattle in an abandoned warehouse where he constructed his own halfpipe. Allen famously rejects material materialism to the point where he lived in his car for a period of time while training with AR Fox in Atlanta to avoid being a freeloader. Down here is the Anytime Fitness that I work out at. I have a George Foreman grill and plug it in the wall while I'm taking a shower. And yeah, man, I just don't want to pay rent anywhere. I don't, I just want to live in the car. Darby's known for being outspoken about mental health issues, including PTSD and depression, stemming from a traumatic experience that occurred during his childhood. At the age of five, Alan was the passenger of a drunk driving accident that killed his intoxicated uncle and formed the in-ring performer that we see today. This may also be one of the reasons why he doesn't drink or do drugs, despite despite his wild lifestyle. The Daredevil also appeared on the TLC show, Sex Sent Me to the ER. And the next thing I know, I'm running naked, the swarm of bees attacking me. He later admitted that the story that he told on the show was entirely fiction and created it because he desperately needed some money. Alan is now happily married to professional wrestler Priscilla Kelly and has been since 2018. When it comes to wrestling, Allen trained under Buddy Wayne and debuted as Darby Graves for NWA Blue Collar Wrestling in 2015. He wrestled under Graves for a few matches before deciding to change his name to Darby Allen. Darby's wrestled for 56 different promotions in his career, spanning less than five years before signing a contract with AEW. He's the current NEW Heavyweight Champion, which is actually the only title he's ever held to date. However, despite that, Allen has made the PWI Top 500 Singles Wrestlers list in 2018 and in 2019, and ranked number 9 on Wrestling Observer Newsletter's Best High Flyer Wrestlers of 2017. Fitting of his character, Allen hasn't been in any stables or structured tag teams throughout his whole wrestling career, but he often pairs with wife Priscilla Kelly and is paired with Sammy Callahan in tag matches a handful of times. Darby has competed in over 236 matches in less than five years including 75 in 2019, 77 in 2018, and 67 matches in his three-year stint with WWN, facing some of the biggest names today, including John Moxley, Velveteen Dream, Mustafa Ali, Cassius Ono, and Roderick Strong. In April 2019, a week after leaving WWN, it was reported Allen had signed with AEW. Ever since, he's been the centerfold of the most dangerous in the men's division, along with Chris Jericho and John Moxley. When it comes to Allen's character, his punk goth skater style is more of a lifestyle than an actual gimmick. The skull face paint that he dons at shows is to represent the 50% of him that is dead since surviving the car accident that killed his uncle. His tattoos that read, nothing's over until you're underground and drug free, tell the story of his in-ring style both straight edge and high risk. He often uses his own body as a weapon with no regard for his own safety or whether he lives or dies, making him an incredibly dangerous opponent and sometimes an opponent that is hard to watch. Standout moments include having his hands tied behind his back and even being put into a body bag, which is something Darby's wanted to do for a very long time. The High Flyer is a self-proclaimed nihilist having no trust in humanity and often calls fans simple-minded like sheep that follow the herd. His AEW intro theme is from Wicked a phase springs eternal called I fell and perfectly captures his punk way of life. Alan's signature moves and finishers are about as nihilistic as his character is, void of any mercy. 
His finishers include The Last Supper, which is a modified bridging figure four leg lock into a pin, and The Coffin Drop, a reverse facing diving senton. If the move includes high flying, unnecessary risk, and looks like it hurts like hell, Allen is definitely trying it. If you find Darby Allen as fascinating and as real as we do, consider checking out one of his most memorable matches that we've linked to in the description below, featuring wrestlers like Cody, John Moxley, and PCO. I've also included the Spotify link to his interview with Chris Jericho on the Talk is Jericho podcast. As always, thanks for watching. Like this video and comment below with your favorite Darby Allen moments. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything Midcard Maniacs. Yep.